Hi everyone, welcome to Object Oriented Programming class. Now we discuss about the topic on types of inheritance. Please use headphone for better audio quality. The types of inheritance. The inheritance can be classified into five major types. First one single inheritance, second one multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, multiple inheritance and last one hybrid inheritance. Java does not directly implement multiple and hybrid inheritances. However, this concept is implemented by interface concept. Okay, the first one single inheritance. If a class is derived from only one base class, then it is called a single inheritance. That means single inheritance contains one base class and one derived class. The figure shows the class one and class two. Class one is super class or base class. Class two is a derived class. Here, class one is a base class and class two is a derived class. Then example program. Consider an example program that here the, there are two classes are available. The first class name is student. Here the student contains a data member that is private member string name, public long register number and a default short integer of height protected double weight. That means the class student contains a data member name, register number, height and the weight of the student. And the class student contains one method that is input method. That input method for getting the input name, that is for getting the user, the student name. Output method also for displaying the student name. Because here the name is a private variable. So private variable only accessed by the methods of the same class only. Other methods not accessible. Okay. Then second class, this is derived class. Here the derived class name is called as marks. Here contains the data members uh, M1, M2, M3. All the three variables are integer variables are declared as a protector. In class marks contains two uh, methods. First method name is input one. The input one performs the following task. The first one it call the input of the base class student and getting the input such as register number, height, weight, M1, M2 and M3 because register number, height and weight are inherited, inherited from the base class student. The next function is output function. Output one function it call the output function of the base class student and displaying the values such as register number, height, weight, M1, M2 and M3. Now that there are two class, class base class is student class and derivative class is class mark. This is called as a single inheritance. Now we'll go with the program. The first one is import statement, import space java.util. as is or scanner, okay. Then first class, class name student. Here the variables are private string name, public long register number, uh, short height that is default member, protected double weight, then public void input. So inside the input function, we are getting the input for the name variable. The next one public void output system dot out dot print and print the name. So first class definition is over. That is space class definition is over. The second class name marks. Class marks extend student. Here the mark is a derived class. Base class is student. Here the here declaring the three variables m1, m2 and m3. That means three marks. The next one input one function. The input one function already we defined. First we call the function input function. This input function calls the base class of input function. Okay. Then scanner command. The next get the input for each number, height, weight, m1, m2 and m3. The second function is public void output one. That output function first calls the output of the base class. Then the, that output function prints the name of the student, then prints the reason number, height, weight, M1 and M2 and M3. Here the second class also okay. That is derived class also defined okay. Then now the base class are defined defined or and derived class also defined. Next we will go for the main class. Here the main class is named as a class simple. So simple, simple greater simple. The next public static void means string arguments. In inheritance concept, we have to create the object for the derived class only, not for the base class, okay. So here the derived class is Mars, so Mars space S1 equal to new Mars. That is S1 is the object of the class Mars, that is derived class. Then S1 dot input function, then control transfer to the input one function, from that call the function input, then call all the inputs, okay. Then system dot out dot print ln output from uh, that is this message display the output to the that is display the message outputs then s1 dot output function output one function the con first the control transfer to the derivative class output one then uh, from that the control transfer to the output of the base class then print name and then print all the remaining variables 
now we have to run the program java c space simple dot java then java c space simple the first one s1 dot input one the control transfer to the input one function from that control transfer to the input function of the base class first it, re it re requests the input for the name that is raja then next uh, remaining inputs that is register number height weight m1 m2 and m3 then next it display the message system dot out dot pattern outputs this message is displayed s1 dot output function output one function control transfer to the output one function from that control transfer to the output function of the base class it prints the name first to raja then prints the remaining variable register number height weight m1 m2 and m3 marks that's all about the single inheritance the second one is multi-level inheritance in single inheritance means one base class and one derived class in multi-level inheritance means if a class is derived from a class which is derived from another class is called as a multi-level inheritance. In multi-level inheritance, there are many levels of inheritance. The layout is shown, figure, shown in figure. Class 1, class 1 is a base class, class 2 is a derived class, then class 3 is a derived class. For class 2, base class is 1. For class 3, base class is 2. For the indirect base is 1. Okay. Here the class 1 is base class, class 2 is derived class and its base class is 1, that is direct base. Class 3 is a derived class and its base class is 2, that is class 2 is a indirect base, okay. Multi-level interest example, same program, I will take the same example. The first is example, class student, same variables and methods. And the class mark also same variable and methods. The next we have to, I have to create another one class that is called as the class result. Then the class result contains the data members that is protected double average. That is the variable name is average. That is data type is double. The access specific is protected. Average is used to calculate the average of three marks. Then that methods in the class result is first one CAL call. That is calculate the average function. Okay. First of all, this call function call the input function input one of class mark for class. Then find the average of m1 plus m2 plus m3 divided by 3. Then next one, the class result contains another one method, display method. This method first call the output one of the class marks, then display the values of average. The next, the coding for the coding is same for the single inheritance also. Uh, import Java dot util dot is class student, same coding. Then second one class mark extend student same coding i am not changing any content in this program the next third class is class result extend marks it here contains only one variable protected double average the next one function is public void call a cal cal then next one first of all this function first call the input one function input one function is the member of uh, marks function the next one from the control transport to the input one of mark function then from that control transfer to the input of class student that means first it gets the student name then gets the roll number height weight mark one mark two and mark three then after that control transfer to av uh, average value equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 divided by 3.0 the next one public void display function first it call the output one function output one function is the function of member uh, that is function of methods of uh, class marks from that it calls the output function that means first it prints the name then next prints the uh, uh, that is register number height weight mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 then finally it prints the average value the next one we go with the main class class name is multi public static void main so it already told that for inheritance concept you have to create the object for the final derived class here the final derived class is result so result space s1 equal to new result then s1 dot call function the control transfer to the call function the call function calls the input one then input function after getting the, all the inputs then display the message outputs the s1 dot display function s1 dot display function first call the output one function which in uh, which then it call the function output it print the name first then uh, register number height weight m1 m2 m3 and finally the average result that is a run the program java c space multi dot java java c is multi R name is raja that is register number height weight mark 1 mark 2 and mark 3 then final output equal to the same name uh, register number mark 1 mark uh, register number height weight mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 and average mark okay now we conclude the session we studied about the types of inheritance 
uh, in the type of installation we have detailed study about the single inductance as well as multi level inductance thanks for watching thank you